is your daddy. <coughs> is this the best gore ever? The part where he, she rips the guy's head in half? She wants to tongue him, man. <laughs> In this small Nebraska town, a secret government project has gotten out of control, and a deadly virus has been unleashed. This movie is fucking awesome. Oh. Okay, it's fucking awesome. When I first got this script, I knew what it was capable of. Zombie strippers. I want people to realize that it's not just tits and ass and flesh eating. There's a really funny, great story to this. But all of the tits and ass and flesh eating are really fucking good too. It's a blast, isn't <laughs> but it? But you can also get some history. There's yeah. little lessons in there. Yeah. There's some Nietzsche. Some Nietzsche. Everything great must first wear hideous and monstrous masks in order to inscribe themselves on the hearts of humanity. <sighs> I couldn't decide if I was more fucked up for loving it so much, or <laughs> if you well, guys were fucked woman, up for making it. I, I, I think it's kind of hard to like admit to loving a film like this, but once you see it, it's like, holy shit, this is hardcore and cool. Either got it or you don't, baby. I'm sorry, but I think you were even hotter with blood all over you. I don't I know love why that you is. said that. <laughs> okay, you're gonna laugh. I'm gonna tell you a quick little story. My boyfriend, Tito Ortiz, he's a big fighter. He's, he's pretty well known and, and he doesn't like blood. It's so funny because he's a fighter, you know, but I would come home from set and I would be covered from head to toe in blood. And it's not easy to get off, okay? So he would put me in the bathtub and sit there and scrub me down for literally an hour and a half. It's not easy to get off. <laughs> so please, for my sake, suck it up. He was like, I never thought I would be turned on by blood, but this is kind of hot. It's a funny, good movie. Like, it's not just about, like, you know, lots of boobs, which is a plus for most men. I don't think she's ever stripped before. I have to ask you, though, now that you know what it's like to be human and you know what it's like to be a zombie, like, who do you think has more fun? <laughs> Yeah, I think zombies have more fun, for sure. I mean, can you imagine just randomly being able to eat flesh? I mean, how fun. Well, you do it so well normally, right. and you got better at it. I mean, do zombies get better head? Is that, is that what we're getting to? How about to? the part where I, like, eat the guy's penis? <laughs> it's not easy to get off. Dirty cocksucker. It was so much fun. Like, what does that say about, about you? <laughs> like, don't you ever think about that? Like, when you're actually when you're giving a blowjob, don't you think about just biting down just just to see the reaction? <laughs> Did you hear the cringes? <laughs> just for, right, guys. Just for a second, don't you feel like just going just to see if he reacts? I would like to keep the top of my head in one yeah, right. <laughs> Don't we? Robert England. Janet Jameson. You either got it or you don't, baby. But, but what about the girls, huh? They're good girls. They're zombies. No. They're strippers. They're zombie strippers. <laughs> Go see zombie strippers, you cocksucker. Cocksucker. You are a great cocksucker. That's a good one, strippers. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you dirty cocksucker. Who's your daddy? It's no good. If that clip wet your whistle, get soaked at ngtv.com. Trust me, I'm circumcised. <laughs>